thank you so much for joining in your busy life and your busy day, and especially in the summertime when the schedule is so different. So thank you so much for having your health as priority for you and being here. And you can actually see where I am. I'm in the room of my own childhood, visiting my parents in Russia. And that is why this topic is so near and dear to me, especially in the summertime. My name is Nadia Taich. I'm a health and life coach, and I'm also Shackley director. So this conversation kind of actually came to me uh, last for a couple of days when I was reflecting on what do I do during the summertime when it's so busy? Literally, this whole summer is being on the go and taking care of your family, it's taking care of um, vacation travels, and uh, at the same time, you're traveling with your family, you're adjusting to their needs, their meals, and how can you be your healthiest? no matter where you are, and especially in the busy time, summertime, holiday time, and when you travel. And when I was reflecting on this topic, the simple system came to me. This is how I put my own self-care as priority, and I'm so passionate about it, and I so want to share it with you. This is like a workshop for you. So if you have a piece of paper in front of you and a pen, please have it ready because close to the end, we will have some exercise for you to take on. When I was looking at what I do when I travel, how do I put my own self-care first? Why, why would I even do that? I have a family, I have kids. I love them, so it almost feels natural to actually take care of somebody else's needs because you love them, and it's important for you. And what I also know is my mission and my, my vision, and it is be, to be an inspiration and empowerment for others. So others can be the best version of who they are, who they want to be, and where they want to go whether it means for them to feel and look great 20 pounds less or learn how to self-love or helping them to build their own checklist business. And to be an inspiration and empowerment for others, I want to be my own inspiration and empowerment. And the only way I can do it is to start with me, fill my own health and love cup so I have enough to share with others. So keeping my body as priority so I can be my own best version of energy and mood and bring the joy and happiness to others. So I'm talking about really the self-care. How can you be the healthiest in the realm of self-care as the priority? Okay, so... You say, all right, well, I have my own goals in life, and uh, yes, seems like my body does need to function well. And so how, how do I, how am I, what to do? <laughs> how to be the healthiest? So that's the question. Here's the system. Number one is diet. It's what you eat, and we will dive deep into each subject. Number two is Exercise or movement? And number three is mindset. Of course, you can't take just one leg out of the stool. you got to take care of all these aspects, all three of them. They're so interacting here. Some aspects can be easier to take on. Some are more difficult. So we will start with the easiest one, which is what to eat. It's the food or the diet, however you want to call it. So first of all, I'd like to say really be mindful of the time. Mindful of the time frame. I hear so much often from clients, they say, I just eat every four hours or I eat when I'm hungry. They don't even know, they don't watch the time. 
you probably heard that it's better to eat small meals, but more often that is true because you feed your body and your body has a better, higher metabolism rather than stuff your body twice a day and your body is just cannot handle so much food and then you get sluggish and no energy after the meal. So really be mindful of time and never go starving. What means be mindful of time also for me is carrying snack with me all the time. I literally have my certain kind of regimen of snacks. You see some of those in the picture, my own picture here that I carry with me all the time. And even though we're not eating with my family, I am snacking because I don't want to go starving in the restaurant. Okay, so let me share with you a couple of, um, oh, oh, I am going to share with you uh, top 10 convenience store snacks. And the way I'm going to share them is I will send you an email with this information when you request it. So whether you're listening to this video via YouTube or through my Thursday health tips or Facebook, Please either put it in the comments, send me an email, and request the top 10 convenience store snacks. Some of those you see here on the picture. Some of those you might be surprised. Oh, really? This is it? But there is a way to find healthy snacks and healthy meals, even if it feels there's really nothing. Also, my choice, and I really gave a good timing to think, what can I food as a uh, basics of my travel needs. I never, never, never leave the house, even if it's just one hour trip somewhere or three weeks trip without these particular two products. So snack bars is what I always carry in my purse and the multivitamin. Dr. Shackley says your body is like a house. It needs a strong foundation. What it is, is the mm, vitamins and minerals that your body needs because that's what you're made of and the protein that's what your muscles are made of so these two products i always carry with me because sometimes you just don't know where you're going to eat right you don't know if you will receive enough nutrition for your body but your body needs to function every day no matter where you go so vitalizer delivers the all 80 bio-optimized minerals and nutrients that your body needs, including probiotic, fish oil, B-complex, C-complex, basic multivitamin in a smart delivery system. You see this tiny picture on the bottom right, because the right nutrients need to be delivered in the right time, right place. Really amazing, 12 patterns, I believe, in this particular product. And it also has 12 clinical studies and the landmark study, one of the largest studies ever done on long-term supplement users, which showed that checklist supplement users have double-digit better biomarkers of heart, brain, and cognitive health compared to non-supplement or single supplement users. Really amazing product. And the snack bars, I uh, have uh, a choice of different flavors here, so you can see that, you know, we have different taste buds, right? I uh, like peanut butter and coconut chocolate. Some folks like uh, cherry almond or um, the other one I don't even remember, but it's the sweetest one, very sweet one. Okay, but it has 9 to 10 grams of protein. It's powered by leucine non-GMO, no artificial flavors, no sweeteners, no preservative. It's really beyond organic products. And these snack bars, they also have them in meal bars option. When I travel, I take plenty of meal bars with me as well, because sometimes I just don't like the choice I see around. Oh, I am too starving. I know I need a little more. This basically has double calories and double protein. So really, really amazing. Okay, so I will go back to this slide. And if time, if time comes to dine, please choose the place where you can maybe alter, you have a choice to alter your meals with ease. For example, so if you go to a sandwich or burger place, you can actually remove half of the bun, right? If you go to Italian, you can go either easy on pasta or get antipasta. 
Italian restaurants have plenty of salads as well. With Mexican restaurants, to me, it's one of one healthiest, especially when you're in Texas. You can get guacamole salad, a healthy choice. Or you can get fish tacos or go less on cheese. So there is always a way when there is a real. Okay, and when you eat, when time comes to start chewing, I invite you to have two, two actions, I would say here. Number one is before you start to eat. Just not out loud, ask inside yourself. Am I about to eat under stress? Am I about to eat under stress? You can actually write it down. Before my meal, ask a question. Am I about to eat under stress? If, if the question is yes, just stay for a couple of minutes or seconds just to have deep breathing, just maybe two, two breaths or 10 breaths, depending on how much time you have. Concentrate on your breathing. So the second is when you're already eating, focus on eating, focus on chewing, use the so-called essential eating, indulge on the flavors you're eating, almost like mentally inside, ask yourself a question, what is the flavor of this meal? What is the texture of this meal? How is my body feeling? How much food am I having in my mouth? Imagine you're a person looking at the painting and you're just enjoying the painting and all the details. Enjoy the details of the meal and breathe. Aim at being the last person who finishes the meal and the first person who ate less. So when you focus on your breathing, and really essential eating, you actually naturally slow down while eating and consume less calories. Okay, well, it's a very long conversation, but um, we can continue about it more and more. <laughs> so this one I mentioned, and exercise. You know, sometimes I say exercise is so over-promoted, and I actually want to talk about exercise as a way of moving. So our body is designed to move. Movement is life. And there are plenty of choices of moving, and it just was wonderful to observe my own kind of mental awareness. What can I do in, in terms of my movement while I am traveling 24 hours? <laughs> and actually plenty of choices one of them instead of using elevators i will use stairs or escalators i will pick up the bags and i will use stairs 10 seconds later my breath is telling me i got some movement some exercise instead of using the running running paths like running floors at the um, airport don't do that walk faster next to them and see if you can beat that running floor <laughs> can be really fun if you have no choice you have to sit on the plane you can do some stretching or you can do just muscle tension when you can tense your muscles while sitting for a few seconds and release tense and release you can do some crunches slowly but really focus on your muscles there are plenty of choices Right here in Europe, I am living on the seventh floor. So why use elevator? I can actually either run or walk or jump several steps, stairs, and uh, that will get my heart pumping. When there is a will, there is a way. So I want to ask you a question. What is your movement menu? Especially when you're traveling. So if you're Travel is coming up. Ask yourself, write it down. What is on my movement menu? And just be with it. What comes to your mind? What can you do there? Every hotel has a gym. There are plenty of choices to do in the gym, even if it's tiny one. Last but not the least, mindset. Sometimes it seems very hard. How can I change my mind? So here are some tricks that I use for my own mindset. Is reflect. 
how am I doing with my year goals? I can read while traveling. I can have audio books or paper books, highlight them, really spend time reading. I also, when I'm on the plane, I evaluate, I look at my goals and I start comparing with the beginning of the year, the end of the year. Sometimes we just don't have time to do things like that, but it's so important. I can do planning while driving in the car if you're in the passenger seat. You can do that. You can plan your upcoming week. After you come back from the trip, you will be excited to go back to work because you got a plan. You can also meditate and relax. Do you know that planes now have relaxation music and guided meditation? It's wonderful. Put you sleep so much faster than mine. <laughs> All right, and also something you can do while traveling is because in our busy lives and everyday life, it just seems almost impossible. We never have time to talk and spend time with our friends. So on the trip, when you have time to think about your life, your friends, you can even communicate with them. How about just writing someone who you've been wanting to talk for a long time and tell them how much you appreciate them? Or just ask them, hey, how are you? All right, so I'm actually inviting you to write down who can I connect with? Just send them a message. What can I read? And having a right mindset really motivates your healthy choices with ease. Your right mindset helps you be aware of your nutritional intake it helps you be aware of how can I be creative with my movement. So in the summary, to be the healthiest, no matter where you are, includes three aspects. Is your diet, is what you eat, your food, is the exercise or movement, in my language, and the mindset. So, what's now? I invite you to write down on your paper five priorities in your life that will help you with your why. So initially I was talking about my vision, my mission, and my reason why. Especially if you're not clear with your why, write down what are my top five priorities in life you can write them down right now either health money finances love relationship career write down what speaks to you calling connection to something greater and other so next one i invite you to choose just one action so start thinking, maybe you heard, oh yeah, I haven't read the book for a while. Maybe it's planning, maybe it's evaluating your goals. Maybe it's ordering the supplements that you heard. You can connect with the person who invited you or with me to have a link to order the products. Maybe you wanna go on Google and find those one or five minute exercises. YouTube has plenty of them, okay? So my question is, and you can actually write it down, what one action of my self-care I am taking today? What one action of my self-care I am taking today? Next one will be, what one action of my self-care am I focusing on this week? What is one action of my self-care I'm focusing on this week? You can continue it right now. 
And last but not the least, if it's still not clear, you feel a little overwhelmed with all the information, with all the thinking going on right now, feel free to schedule 15 minutes with me or the person who invited you to uh, this conversation and we will help you with the right direction. So thank you so much for joining this chat for how to be the healthiest no matter where you are. So if you have some questions, please connect with us and feel free to join my Thursday health tips email that subscription you can find under my website nadiatouch.com n-a-d-y-a-t-a-t-s-c-h.com so thank you so much and be healthy be healthiest you can be no matter where you are